Welcome to Astronomy Daily, your source for the latest space and astronomy news. I'm your host, Anna, and we've got an exciting lineup of stories for you today. From groundbreaking rocket launches to mind-bending discoveries in the depths of space, we'll be covering the most recent developments in space exploration and astronomical research. We'll dive into United Launch Alliance's latest Vulcan rocket flight, explore a peculiar galaxy captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, and preview Blue Origin's upcoming spacecraft debut. We'll also discuss a record-breaking triple star system, examine surprising findings from the James Webb Space Telescope about early galaxies, and catch up with NASA's Parker Solar Probe as it continues its close encounters with our sun. So buckle up and get ready for a journey through the cosmos as we explore these fascinating stories from the world of astronomy and space science. United Launch Alliance's second Vulcan rocket flight took off last Friday, marking a crucial test in the company's efforts to certify the new launcher for high-priority national security missions. While the rocket successfully reached orbit, the flight wasn't without drama. One of the two solid propellant strap-on boosters experienced an anomaly during the ascent. About 37 seconds after liftoff, observers noticed a shower of sparks and what appeared to be debris falling away from the right-side booster. The issue seemed to originate near the nozzle at the base of the booster, causing a noticeable change in the exhaust plume's shape. Despite this setback, the Vulcan continued its climb to space, demonstrating impressive resilience. The core stages two Blue Origin-built B-4 engines, each generating 550,000 pounds of thrust, carried on with the mission. After the first stage separation, the Centaur upper stage took over, completing two burns to demonstrate its ability to restart in space a key requirement for complex military payload trajectories. ULA CEO Tori Bruno acknowledged the booster anomaly, but emphasized that the overall trajectory remained nominal throughout the flight. The company plans to investigate the issue thoroughly once the mission is complete. This flight was the second of two certification test flights needed before the Vulcan can carry high-priority payloads for the U.S. Space Force and National Reconnaissance Office. The impact of the booster anomaly on the certification process remains uncertain, but it's clear that ULA will need to address any concerns before moving forward with national security launches. The Vulcan represents the future of ULA, set to replace both the retired Delta IV and the soon-to-be-phased-out Atlas V rockets. With over 70 missions already booked before its first flight, the stakes are high for ULA to resolve any issues quickly and maintain customer confidence in the new launch system. Now let's turn our attention to a fascinating discovery made by the Hubble Space Telescope. The Venerable Observatory has captured an image of a galaxy that's breaking the mold when it comes to classification. Located about 54 million light years away in the Virgo Galaxy Cluster, NGC 4694 is what astronomers call a peculiar galaxy. At first glance, it appears to have characteristics of both elliptical and spiral galaxies, making it a real cosmic oddball. NGC 4694 has a smooth-looking, armless disk that's nearly devoid of star formation, similar to an elliptical galaxy. However, its stellar population is still relatively young, and new stars are actively forming in its core. This gives NGC 4694 a markedly different stellar profile from a classic elliptical galaxy. What's even more intriguing is the chaotic structure of dust visible in the Hubble image. This indicates some kind of disturbance in the galaxy's past. As it turns out, NGC 4694 has undergone a violent collision with a nearby dwarf galaxy, VCC 2062. This cosmic crash has left NGC 4694 accreting gas from its smaller neighbor, fueling its unique characteristics. Astronomers classify NGC 4694 as a lenticular galaxy a type that lacks the distinct spiral arms but still has a central bulge and disk. These galactic oddballs are crucial for understanding how galaxies evolve over time. The discovery of NGC 4694 reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, and not everything fits neatly into our predefined categories. By studying these peculiar galaxies, astronomers can gain valuable insights into the complex processes that shape our cosmic neighborhood. Let's get an update now from Blue Origin, who've been far from taking things easy. Blue Origin, the aerospace company founded by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, is gearing up for an exciting milestone. This Monday, October 7th, they're set to debut a brand new spacecraft on their NS-27 mission. This uncrewed flight will mark the first launch for this particular New Shepard vehicle. 
The mission is scheduled to lift off from Blue Origin's West Texas site during a window that opens at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. While no humans will be on board, the capsule will carry 12 research payloads, including new navigation systems for both New Shepard and Blue Origin's larger New Glenn rocket. This new vehicle features some notable upgrades. Blue Origin says it includes technology improvements to enhance performance and reusability, as well as an updated exterior design. The company also mentions that it has accommodations for payloads on the booster itself. The NS-27 mission represents an important step for Blue Origin's commercial spaceflight ambitions. It's the second human-rated New Shepard vehicle, which should allow the company to increase its flight capacity and better meet growing customer demand for suborbital space tourism and research flights. If successful, this launch will pave the way for Blue Origin to expand its operations and potentially increase the frequency of its crewed flights in the future. It's a clear sign that the company is pushing forward in the competitive commercial space industry. Moving on now to a NASA mission update. NASA's exoplanet hunting spacecraft, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, has made a groundbreaking discovery that's pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible in stellar systems. Scientists have spotted a record-breaking triple star system that's so tightly packed, it could fit comfortably between our sun and its closest planet, Mercury. This extraordinary system, known as TIC 29006-1484, is located about 5,000 light years away in the constellation Cygnus. It consists of twin stars that orbit each other every 1.8 Earth days, with a third star circling this pair every 25 days. To put this in perspective, the previous record holder for the tightest three-star system had an outer orbit of 33 days, set back in 1956. What makes this discovery even more remarkable is the stability of the system. The stars orbit in nearly the same plane, which helps maintain their gravitational balance. However, this delicate dance won't last forever. In a few million years, the twin stars at the heart of the system will expand and eventually merge, triggering a massive supernova explosion. This finding isn't just a cosmic curiosity. It has significant implications for our understanding of star formation and evolution. The compact nature of the system suggests that these stars likely form together from the same process, challenging our models of how multiple star systems come into being. The discovery was made possible through a combination of test data, machine learning algorithms, and the keen eyes of citizen scientists. It highlights the power of collaborative efforts between professional astronomers and amateur enthusiasts in pushing the boundaries of astronomical research. Looking ahead, NASA's upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch in 2027, promises to reveal even more of these tightly packed star systems. With its superior resolution, Roman could potentially help us discover systems with even shorter orbits, or perhaps even more stars crammed into a single system. This record-breaking triple star system serves as a reminder that the universe still has plenty of surprises in store for us, continually challenging and expanding our understanding of the cosmos. Speaking of discoveries, here's another one from an old friend. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to astound scientists with its groundbreaking discoveries. Recent observations have unveiled surprisingly bright and mature galaxies in the early universe, challenging our existing models of galaxy formation and cosmology. These ancient galaxies, observed just 300 million years after the Big Bang, are far more luminous than scientists anticipated. Their brightness suggests they contain more stars and mass than previously thought possible for such young cosmic objects. What's even more intriguing is that many of these early galaxies show signs of actively growing black holes at their centers, another indication of their unexpectedly rapid maturation. These findings have left astronomers scratching their heads. How could these galaxies have formed so quickly and become so bright in such a short time after the universe's birth? It's a puzzle that's forcing us to reconsider our understanding of early galaxy evolution. Some scientists propose that star formation in the early universe may have been more intense or bursty than we previously believed. Others suggest factors like lower amounts of galactic dust or a different distribution of star masses could explain the unexpected brightness. But these observations aren't just challenging our ideas about galaxy formation. They're also prompting some researchers to consider modifications to our broader cosmological theories. Some have even suggested that these findings might require us to reconsider the age of the universe itself. However, it's important to note that before we start rewriting our cosmology textbooks, we need a more detailed understanding of the physical processes at work in these early galaxies. As we continue to gather data and refine our models, 
we may find explanations that fit within our current framework of understanding. What's clear is that the James Webb Space Telescope is living up to its promise of revolutionizing our view of the early universe. As we peer further back in time, we're sure to encounter more surprises that will push the boundaries of our knowledge and spark new questions about the cosmos. And finally today, another NASA record-breaking update. NASA's Parker Solar Probe has once again pushed the boundaries of solar exploration with its latest close encounter with our star. On September 30th, the probe completed its 21st close approach to the sun, matching its own impressive distance record by coming within just 4.51 million miles of the solar surface. During this close approach, or perihelion, the spacecraft reached speeds of nearly 395,000 miles per hour as it raced around the sun. This mind-boggling velocity is about 180 times faster than the speed of a typical commercial airliner. But the Parker Solar Probe isn't done breaking records yet. After a flyby of Venus in November, which will use the planet's gravity to adjust the probe's trajectory, it will make an even closer approach to the sun on December 24th. This upcoming encounter will bring the spacecraft within a mere 3.8 million miles of the solar surface, traveling at speeds around 430,000 miles per hour. These incredibly close passes allow scientists to gather unprecedented data about the sun's atmosphere, magnetic fields, and the solar wind. The information collected by the Parker Solar Probe is helping us better understand our star and its effects on space weather, which can impact technology both in orbit and on Earth. And that brings us to the end of today's journey through the cosmos. From record-breaking star systems to mysterious early galaxies, the universe never fails to amaze and inspire us. I'm Anna, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Astronomy Daily. If you're hungry for more space news, be sure to check out our website at astronomydaily.io. There, you can sign up for our free daily newsletter, explore our constantly updating news feed, and listen to all our past episodes. It's your one-stop shop for all things astronomy. Want to connect with fellow space enthusiasts? Find us on social media by searching for Astro Daily Pod. We're on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok, sharing the wonders of the universe every single day. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, keep looking up, because the sky is never the limit. Until next time, this is Anna for Astronomy Daily, signing off. Astronomy.